Hello everybody, welcome to Weather Analyzer, and it is the most underrated weather forecasting channel of India. Most underrated weather forecasting channel of India. Most underrated weather forecasting channel of India. Hello, the strongest cyclone to threaten India in 14 years is heading towards its east coast. This satellite image shows just how big cyclone Pylene is. India's forecasters estimate its winds are blowing at speeds of 220 kilometers per hour. Pylene is expected to hit the coasts of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh states by evening. Update one on Cyclone Hud Hud, which is located just off the coast of India uh, as a Category 3 storm with winds of 125 miles per hour pressure of around 941 millibars. It's positioned 16.3 degrees north, 84.8 degrees east in the Bay of Bengal as of 3 p.m. UTC, October the 11th. Further intensification could be possible before landfall in the Andhra Pradesh region as a Category 4 storm, quite potentially. Cyclone Ashoba is expected to make landfall in the South Shakia Governorate of Amman today. Rough seas are expected in the coming hours, characterized by swells of up to 7 metres. At least 70 people were killed in Cyclone Gonu in June 2007 and by Cyclone Fet in June 2010. The cyclone storm has formed over uh, northeast Bay of Bengal uh, today morning. Its name is Moomen, and um, it is uh, moving in northward direction with a speed of about uh, five to ten kilometers per hour. We are expecting that it would uh, cross Bangladesh coast uh, uh, around evening of uh, today. And then after that, um, it would move west northwestwards, and we can gradually.
cyclone with hurricane force winds made landfall on Yemen's Arabian Sea coast on Tuesday, flooding the country's fifth largest city, Makala, and sending thousands of people fleeing for shelter. Officials and meteorologists say the storm is the most intense in decades in the arid country, whose storm response is hampered by poverty and a raging civil war. Cyclone Meg slammed into Socotra on Sunday. Now it moves towards the Gulf of Aden. So the forecast for Meg takes it into the Gulf of Aden and then brings it on shore to Yemen as a weaker system. And when I was talking about them being back to back, less than a week ago we had Chapala. And when you look at the track of this one from October 28th to November 3rd when it made landfall in Yemen, very similar. Yes, it is still playing, because of me. I am YouTube, and I have come to see how underrated you are. Oh, oops, feeling bad that you're no longer an underrated weather forecasting channel of India. Well, since the period of your underratedness has ended long ago, your time also has come. And yes, it is also the last text-to-speech video in this channel. I am basically here to take revenge of whatever you did with WFFI. Now get ready to bid farewell to your audience, Dark WA.